In a game designed around people killing and being the last team standing, it's pretty obvious weapons play a huge part in things. You have to know the ins and outs of every one of them in order to have the best chance at fighting because even if you don't have said weapon, knowing how others will use it will allow you to play around them, giving you a higher chance at winning the fight. So hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest 8 second gaming and in today's video I'm going to be giving you one tip for every weapon in Apex to help you clutch up in fights. Every weapon Weapon in Apex has something unique or special about them that people sometimes forget or just straight up don't know about. Just before we dive in though, recent news has come up from the CDC and they are now recommending everyone subscribe to the Game Leap Apex channel in order to get massive RP gains and become a better Apex player. So smash that sub button and let's talk tips. And I'm going to go through based off the category of the guns, like shotguns, assault rifles, marksmen, you get the point. So let's start off with close range and talk shotties. First up, the Mozambique. When using this gun, you don't have to shoot every single time individually. You can actually hold down the trigger and the gun will shoot every time it's ready. This is very useful in some high stress situations where you just want to spam shots out. Next up, the EVA 8. For the EVA 8, I know most people fall into the habit of aiming down sights because that's what you do for most guns. But actually, the EVA has no bullet spread, so it doesn't matter if you're ADSing or hip firing. So with this, you should always be hip firing when in fights so you don't get a movement speed debuff. Now for the Mastiff, and the Mastiff has an insanely long reload speed of 6.85 seconds when you don't have dual shell. So if you're ever in a peak battle with someone where you have the slightest bit of downtime between shots, try to reload 1-2 to two shells between peaking. You can always animation cancel if you have to. And to finish off the shot is we have the Peacekeeper. This is an interesting one because this actually is the only shotgun to retain its headshot multiplier at all ranges. So if you're in a pinch and have to use this to poke, you can actually still deal some decent damage with it. Now let's talk about the pistols in the game and we can start with the wingman. The wingman is one of the guns that is heavily affected by skins. Now the basic blue and purple skins are nice but they aren't good options. They are bulky, have bad iron sights and take up a lot of the screen so you'll want to be looking to use a skin like the death ray or merciless wing. These are the pay to win skins and will drastically improve your wingman aim. Next up we have the RE45. This gun has no ability to use a stock and can really fall off in further engagements. Where it shines is to use it in very close range with its amazing hip fire. It allows for fast paced fights and can lead to you being very hard to hit with your strafe speed. And lastly for pistols we have the P2020. For this one you'll want to pay close attention to the crosshairs when using its hip fire. Because the crosshair spread is wider than the actual bullet spread on the gun, making hip fire harder to hit because you can't fall fully rely on the crosshairs. Now that we have those covered, let's move into SMGs and first up the care package SMG and that's the alternator. This gun does insane damage to shielded targets due to its built in disruptor rounds, but versus unshielded targets, it actually has lower DPS than all other SMGs. So to do more damage and save the precious care package ammo, make sure to be swapping off this to finish off targets whenever you can. Next up we have the car, now this one to me seemed very basic, but after talking to a few people from multiple platforms, turns out it isn't common knowledge. It doesn't matter what type of ammo you are using on the car, you can use any extended mag for it, so if you're using light ammo in the gun, you can actually use a heavy extended mag and it will work. Now for my favorite SMG, the Prowler. The bursts on this gun are faster than the R99, the fastest shooting gun in the game. So if someone is trying to spray you down, use a quarter to jiggle peek out of, burst fire and then dip back behind cover. You shoot very quickly and will be back in safety extremely fast. Next up my least favorite SMG, the R99. The R99 has the lowest per bullet damage in the game, so the tip here is very straightforward. Make sure you can hit all your bullets or this gun isn't worth using, you will get punished extremely hard hard even if you miss a few shots. So if you're the type of person to panic in fights and start missing bullets, just swap off to a different gun, it isn't worth it. Now the last SMG is the Volt. The tip here is to just go nuts with this gun. It has the fastest reload, projectile speed, and lowest projectile drop of all the SMGs. Plus it has very easy to control recoil, allowing you to do very well in medium to long ranges as well, so you have tons of flexibility. Go nuts. Now let's move into assault rifles and to kick it off we have the Havoc. The Havoc has a very annoying charge up time without the turbocharger, so if you're in a fight with someone you know is around a corner or a wall or something like that, start charging up the gun before you peek. This will allow you to be shooting as soon as you round the corner and not be caught out. 
Next up, the Hemlock. Now everyone knows that the Hemlock can be put into single fire, but it has a fire rate cap on it. This means you aren't shooting bullets as fast as you can pull the trigger, so time your shots out a little more when doing this. You don't have to spam it, it doesn't really work the way you think it does. Next up, the R301. Don't be afraid to take this bad boy in close range, it actually rivals the R99 in times to kill. The only time the R99 beats it is all body shots, so even landing one headshot you're killing faster than it. I've seen a lot of people be worried to use this in very close ranges and lose a lot of fights because of that, don't let that be you. And the last AR to cover is the flatline. And for this I have to say learn to jitter aim, it's just shaking your camera to match the fire rate of the gun. Mouse and keyboards you shake your mouse side to side, controller you move your character instead of the gun. Everyone can do it, so start, it makes the flatline way too OP. But now let's move into the LMGs and kick things off with the Devotion. This gun has the fastest projectile speed in the game, so that coupled with the highest damage per second, once ramped up you'll want to use this to easily punish players who are trying to peek out on you. Spray the area that they are trying to peek, if they look out they'll be hit by a fury of bullets and be damaged a lot, giving your team opportunities to push up because of the cover fire and damage you potentially will be doing. Next up the L-Star, Gold Mag does nothing on this gun, it's just the same as a purple extended mag, so stop taking it from your teammates if they have a gun that can utilize it like the Volt. Now for the care package weapon of the LMGs, the Spitfire. This gun has low DPS and fire rate compared to most other automatic guns in the game, so the best tip that I can give you is don't be the center of attention when in fights. Let your teammates draw fire so you can come in and clean up with your never ending magazine. And the last LMG is the Rampage. And the tip for this one is that you have to stop forgetting you can shoot doors off with this when it's charged up. I can't tell you how many times I've killed someone while playing doors and when I loot their body they have a Rampage and a Thermite. Charge it up, shoot doors off, win the fight. Now we're getting into long range stuff so let's talk marksman rifles and first up we have the 30-30 repeater. For this you have to stop sleeping on shatter caps, the damage they do in close range actually rivals some of the shotguns in the game, so if you are in closer ranges don't be afraid to whip out the shatters. Next up the bow check, this one is a very special marksman rifle. Unlike all the others, when ADSing you have the movement speed you would with an SMG so you are able to be more agile in medium range fights, so don't be afraid to ADS when you have to. Now for for the care package marksman rifle, the Scout. The tip here is that the ammo can be very deceiving with the amount you have. You only actually have enough for 6 reloads, so make sure to pick your battles very wisely and don't waste ammo trying to thirst somebody. And the last marksman rifle is the triple take. Now I was going to talk about the fact that this gun does very well in close range, but I think everyone knows that. So I want to address the players who spam shots at long ranges. The damage is split between the pellets, so unless you're treating your gun like a girl with daddy issues and choking it, you aren't getting full usefulness. At longer ranges, take the fire rate hit and make sure to be choking the gun each time. But now we're coming around the final corner we only have a few guns left to talk about so let's cover the sniper rifles. First up my favorite sniper and the best ground loot sniper, the charge rifle. The charge rifle is the only hit scan gun in the game currently so this means it's 100% accurate. That means it doesn't matter if you're falling or on something like a zip line where you shoot is where the beam goes, keep that in mind. Next up the CP sniper, the Kraber. Now this gun is a sniper rifle, but it has surprisingly good hip fire. So when your back is against the wall and you have no other options, try going for that no scope Kraber shot to kill someone. You'd be surprised how many times you'll actually hit it and how many times it will actually turn fights for you. Moving forward, the Sentinel and Longbow don't really have anything special about them. I was going to talk about the gold shield making it so the charge of the Sentinel only took one shield cell, but they did remove that. So I'm just going to give a quick sniper tip that works on both of them. If you are in a long range battle with someone you can't tell how far away they are, look at the right hand side of your sniper scope. There you'll find some numbers, that's the distance away whatever you're looking at is. You can then use that distance to line up on the dots in the scope and hit way more shots because of that. And now with all these tips you'll be an absolute machine with each weapon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you learned anything please remember to drop a thumbs up it really helps out the channel. Thank you all for watching, once again I made Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.